Meantime, a beloved cafe owner in Wayland is battling COVID herself. She says, or she tells her Lauren Edwards that she's feeling fine, but what makes her feel better is when people support small businesses. So I got a chance to speak with the owner and she says that, you know, she's recovering well, she's in good spirits, but one of the things that she really wants at this time is just to get back to her work, to her cafe behind me. She misses being there and she misses her customers. I will take care of people before I take care of myself. And obviously that's gotten me into some trouble. <laughs> Kim Powers, co-owner of the Auction House Cafe in Whalen, keeping a smile on her face as much as possible after just being released from Mercy Health St. Mary's Monday night. I experienced a TIA on Sunday afternoon and went into emergency and they uh, wanted to admit me to the hospital. Powers is diabetic and a TIA means she had a mini stroke. But before being admitted into the hospital, she had to get tested for COVID and the results were positive. It was lonely. <laughs> um, I do have to say that uh, you're not allowed out of your room. Um, they don't come into your room unless they necessarily have to. She stayed one night and was feeling fine Tuesday, but is now taking care of her husband who tested positive just before she did. And as trying as these times are for everyone, she's imploring people to follow CDC guidelines. Wear a mask. Most importantly, you know, social distance from each other is very important and washing your hands is very important. She says doing these things will help slow the spread and get people back to work sooner, including herself. We struggle as it is being a very small business. Right now we're limited to 10 people inside, that's it. But right now they're closed due to the temporary restrictions. She's grateful for the community, supporting her through a GoFundMe page they set up. But she wants everyone to feel supported and hopes folks will shop local during the pandemic. We wanna keep these local businesses going. You, we, they need to support them. Uh, there's just no if, ands, and buts about it. And that is solid advice, especially for the times that we're living in. And if you would like to make a contribution to that GoFundMe account, you could head to fox17online.com or click on our mobile app. All the information will be posted there. Reporting in Wayland, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. She's doing well, Lauren. Thank you.